Hi guys and welcome to Heidi Key Makeup. I recently went through my entire collection and wanted to do an updated inventory of everything that's going on with my makeup collection, how much I have and what I think about that and also how it compares to last year. So I will link in the iCard there, I think it is, maybe it's there. Um, I will link in the iCard the last uh, makeup inventory that I did, but my collection has changed quite a bit. I think I've done more than one, so maybe I'll turn it into a playlist and you can watch a few of them. Um, but I've slowly whittled my collection down over the course of the last few years through a lot of project panning and a lot of declutters. Um, and just like using things up and all of that sort of stuff and also trying not to purchase much. Um, so this is my makeup as of June, we're kind of halfway through the year, I usually try to do this in January, but it is what it is, as of June 2018. So I added three new categories that I didn't have in my last one. Um, the first one is a face primer and I only have one an eye primer and I only have one and a setting spray and I only have one and I feel really good about that. I think I'll be able to keep that that way. Maybe have a second um, eye primer, but probably not. I'll probably keep that that way. As far as palettes and shadows, so I have all of my palettes and singles listed in the same area. So if I have just one single eyeshadow, that counts as a whole thing, whereas one palette counts as like a whole thing. So I actually have less in this category than I did before. Last year I had 13, um, and now I have 13, but the reason for that is because some of them are singles. So like I got rid of a few palettes, I used a whole palette, which is amazing, um, kind of. You can check out my Pan That Palette video if you want to know more about that. But um, I moved out some palettes and those kinds of things, but I have a couple singles here and there. So I actually do have less than I did before. Um, and I think I would actually still like to see this category shrink. And the reason for that is because I just realized that it takes so long to finish eyeshadow after doing pan that palettes for so long I've just come to the realization that I don't need more than like one or two eyeshadow palettes um, so I think that I may still be doing a declutter coming up here just because there's eyeshadow palettes on here that I'm not crazy about too and some singles too that I'd like to possibly get rid of for blushes I only have two blushes I previously had six I have one gel blush and one powder blush. And I'd actually like to see this category grow because I feel like I'd like to be able to play with blush more. I've been using eyeshadows as blushes or sometimes I'll use lipsticks as cream blushes, but I would like some more blushes, I think, so I could have like a cool tone, a warm tone, a neutral, have some different blush options. Since I'm not doing as much project panning this year, I think it's, it's okay to grow certain categories. I think I've reached where I want to be. Lip liners. Last year I had zero. This year I have one. I'm okay with having one. In fact, I'd like to have one more. So I have one that's kind of like a burgundy sort of shade for when I'm wearing like deeper tones, and I'd like to have one red liner, lip liner, and I think that's good. For eyeliner pencils, I have one black liner and one nude liner, and that's fine. I don't think I need any more than that. Last year I only had one liner. Um, but I do like having both the nude and the black. For a liquid slash gel category, I only have one, and it is the e.l.f. pen liner. Um, and one is fine with me. I don't want to have more than one open, and I honestly just don't like gel liner, I don't think. So I think that from now on, I'm just going to rotate through liquid liner, just one. And honestly, I don't wear colorful liner. I always wear black or nude in the waterline, and that's it. Um, if I want a colorful liner, I will use eyeshadow as a liner, so I'm cool with that, too. For highlighters, so this one I categorized a little bit differently. Each individual thing is counted as one. So, like, I have a highlighter palette that has three in it. I'm counting that as three, whereas if it was an eyeshadow palette, it would only be counted as one. Um, I had, I used to have six, and now I have five. I have one liquid um, highlighter and I have four powder highlighters and I think that's a good amount. I'm okay with that. 
For bronzer, I only have one bronzer, and you know, I could maybe use like one more that's cool tone, but I honestly don't wear bronzer. I wear eyeshadow as bronzer if I'm gonna do it. So, I don't know. I might get another one, but I'm okay with having just one. For brows, I only have one brow pencil and one brow gel, which I'm fine with. Last year I had one, and now I have two, but I'm okay with that, because. One's like a clear gel and one's a, a pencil. For concealer, I only have, I counted this as one. I have one concealer compact, which I'm fine with. I might want to get another one that I could do for spot concealing, um, but this one, this some of these skin tone shades I can use for that. Um, and last year I only had one as well. For foundation, I used to have two, and now I have four, um, and it's all because some are shades that are too light for me. Now that summer is here, I do actually get paler than this, believe it or not, um, and so I would like to have no more than two, I think. I think having one summer shade and one winter shade, and I think open at any given time, and I think that I want to get just one nice high-end one, because the problem I run into when I buy... Um, drugstore foundation is that I don't necessarily do the best job of color matching myself because I can't sample it and if it oxidizes I won't know and so I think that when I'm ready to replace foundation I will go and get myself color matched and just have that one there's a lot of foundations running around in my head but I only want to have one other time I think maybe two in case I need to mix or something like that mascara I previously had three now I have two. I would like to only have one, but I'm okay with having the two that I do have because one is water resistant that I'll use on the lower lash line and one isn't that I'll use on the upper lash line. I don't usually like water resistant mascara, but it's the only one that I'll put on the lower lash line, which I don't often do, but I do occasionally. For face powders, I used to only have one and now I only have one and that's fine and I will use it until I run out. Um, I don't have any loose powder. I hate loose powder. So from now on, one, one powder, which I'm fine with. For lips, last year I had 12 different lipsticks and I combined liquid lipsticks with regular lipsticks. This year I only have eight um, and I'd like to see that number grow a little bit. For example, I don't, in all of this, have a working red lipstick, which is like mind boggling to me. I don't know how that happens. So I definitely think I will be getting some more lipsticks and lip colors here and there. For cream eyeshadows, last year I had five, this year I have two, um, and I'd be okay with getting a couple more so that I can have some bases that will make the color pop. And then for gloss, last year I had five, this year I have two, and I'm okay with that number two. So um, last year was kind of the first year that I felt really good about my collection, and I still feel really good about my collection. It, it has not grown a whole bunch. It's changed over, which is really, really nice to see. The foundation that I had last year is not the foundation that I had this year. So that means that I'm actually using my products and going through them before they go bad, which is just a really, really nice feeling. As far as goals, um, my goals actually are gonna be to grow the collection a little bit, uh, just so I have a couple more options and to not focus so much on trying to get through products as much. There's not a lot of things that I'm really like, I need to get through this. The only thing that I really, really want to focus on moving out is eyeshadows. Um, and that's because I've just learned so much from Pan That Palette. So that's an update of my makeup inventory uh, for the year of 2018. Um, I feel really good about it. And I think it's a good working collection. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe and the bell. Um, don't forget, to check out these two videos and this one right here. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.